Okay, here we are. <clears throat> Make sure you're paid into that 47. I'd like to think that the common sense thing to do is to make sure you're paid coming into that 47 area ahead of the gap. Trailers obviously you can hold on to if you want and see if there's any more. If you're looking at the rain line on the 15 minute chart, great target. I've got rain line back here a little bit lower than that, back in at 43 area. We said T2 today would actually close the gap, 44.75. <clears throat> so think of that as 45 if you want. Uh, we, to answer your question, the definition of the rain line. Long time ago, I was uh, in a room that I was helping a, <clears throat> quote, guru. Uh, run the room. And so when, when she was not there, uh, I would help out making the calls. And this was an, an idea that I introduced to that room. And my handle at the time, this is way back when, uh, my handle at the time was Rain, Rainmaker. So they said, what's that line? I said, that's the rain line. And that kind of stuck, and ever since then, and that's years and years ago. I call it the rain line. And above it, the market is advancing, and below it, the market is trying to go find <clears throat> the next levels of support. Anybody that has come into the 47, paid for sure. Great call, Zeke, for that target. 49 and a half was T1. We said this afternoon, <clears throat> if we got below uh, that prior low, then we can come any place in this air pocket. And obviously the bo big boys felt the same way that we did. they probably better odds coming short than going long. So I'm suggesting the odds say paid ahead of the gap. And now it's, it's because you're risking, don't forget, you know, time and price. You're starting to risk now some of the profits that you've made short side. And if you didn't make them, somebody did. So all you can do is hang on to a trailer or re-enter. And we know we're going to leave chips on the table in, in these kind of silly moves. It just happens, you know. You're not going to nail every exact inch of the swing. And so you get to that point where you, you, you know, you're rolling the dice and you're saying, okay, do I just take my chips and leave or should I keep rolling the dice? And I said earlier today, you can step out anytime you want. And jump back in, just protect your profits.